This just in off the teleprompter. Wingdings. What's up, everybody? This is Scotty from Play What Now, and this is the Pwn update number 70 for the week of November 11th, 2013. First of all, a happy belated Veterans Day to all the vets out there. Thank you for your service. Also, YouTube has been eating our videos. It's not that we're lazy, even though we are. We've had a bit of an artifacting problem, which we finally hammered out. And did you know you can open a service order with Google, even though their service is free? Not too shabby. So they took care of us. We're, we will have a deluge over the course of the week. Everything that was eaten should be coming out, including the Pwn Update number 68, uh, a video about drinking, uh, gunpoint first glance, and some other th things. Also, this Friday, November 15th, begins our micro-series of Applesauce Adventures. A snippet of my day, every day, for 30 days. Ill-advised venture. Big week this week. First of all, free stuff. Xbox Live Gold, a world of Keflings, or Keflings. John, have you ever heard of this? What, what the fuck is that? I don't know. Not much better on the PS Plus front for once. Uh, dark something, something, something. Arisen. Uh -oh. I think it might be about a lot of purple colors, and it's not Saints Row. All right, listen up. I am about to swear, which should emphasize to you that this is a big week, because I very rarely swear on the update. A lot of f***ing things are coming out this week. Possibly one of the biggest weeks in retail releases of the year. First of all, in consoles, the PlayStation 4 hits shelves in North America earlier than it does in Europe and Japan. Why? Because we're crass Americans and we've got a case of the gimme gimmies. Games that come out with the PS4. Here's the highlight reel. Killzone, Shadow, Shadowfall, Sound Shapes. Trying to, is that correct? Trying to, I'm getting the nod. And a game that John, I can see, already has a boner for, Flower. A game where you play as the wind, and it's artistically rendered and beautiful. I'm going to say that again, you play as the fucking wind beneath my wings. Handheld games, Disney's Frozen Olaf's Quest on the Wii U Steve Edition. Woo, it's that time of year. Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Olympic Winter Games. Birdo and Tails not invited. DLC, uh, Bioshock Infinite. Burial at Sea, Episode 1. Just hand me the damn thing. It's too far away. We have the camera set up farther away, and there's only one thing left. All right, this is arguably the biggest thing of the week, and I'm going to explain why. Cross-platform. Adventure Time, explore the dungeon because I don't know. And here's why. The game was written by Pendleton Ward, creator of Adventure Time, stay back you savage beast. The game was written by Pendleton Ward, creator of Adventure Time. And also, Pendleton Ward has publicly stated that at the end of the game will be a major reveal that will have repercussions rippling through the show. <laughs> And the gameplay actually looks like it's not going to be terrible. Um, I know Steve has the flu, which is legitimate for the first time he's ever missed anything. So, John, can you bail me out of this, please? He's so big. Thanks, Scotty. Um, yeah, not Steve again. I'm not doing that shtick anymore because, honestly, Steve's just delinquent. Whatever. Kill the Amazon. Bam. Amazon. All right. Anyway, news this week. So let's just start off with work, World of Warcraft, because why not? So uh, BlizzCon was this last weekend, and surprise to surprises, Blizzard announced a new expansion for World of Warcraft. Woo! Exactly. Uh, it's called Warlords of Draenor, uh, and they're basically adding ten new levels. Uh, Wait, Draenor? Draenor. Like that stuff you pour when your grain's clogged? I think, yes. Wow. Exactly. Drano. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, World of Drano, welcome to the giant clogged hair beast! Thank you, Badger. So yeah, 10 extra levels. Uh, I guess the big thing with this is that there are new uh, player models for all the old characters, because uh, that orc looked like shit. Uh So did the human, because... Uh, Good God, they look terrible. No neck. No necks. No wrists. Disturbing. Anyway, so, yeah, that's a big thing. Uh, we're recording this on Friday, so I'm sure there'll be more news coming out of there, but that's pretty much the big thing. Uh, World of Warcraft, so, yay. Anyway, um, 
Other news, PAX East has sold out, so it's good for them. Yay, more PAX. Uh, let's see. Oh. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. What, what, what can we say about Call of Duty Ghosts uh, other than uh, the, uh, the PC port was terrible? Uh, absolutely abysmal. Uh, 50 gig install, which... 50 gigs? Really? And this is not just on PC. This is actually on, like, the PS4 and Xbox One versions, which is insane. But, uh, yeah, uh, there was some videos that came out about Call of Duty Ghosts, and, uh, they're actually comparing some of the, uh, resolutions and the frame rates, and, uh, not that good. Not that good. Not very next-gen-y, that's for sure. In fact, I've heard some people say, like, the, the current gen actually looks better than the next gen, so... Good job, Infinity Ward. Alright. Uh, next news. I'm sorry, guys. The X-Bone is not backwards compatible. And I know, I know you're gonna say, we already knew our 360 games weren't going to work on the system natively. But, Microsoft did confirm that they're also not gonna do any streaming of Xbox 360 games. So, if you, if you bought any, like, that are on your accounts, uh, yeah, yeah, just keep the 360, basically. And when that eventually red rings, buy another one, because you were going to do that anyway. But, uh, yeah, uh, good job, Microsoft. So, uh, yeah, um, uh, Valve has announced that there will be zero exclusive games on the Steam OS. Uh, they realize that exclusivity, no. No, they're not going to force that on any of the companies. If they want to produce their games on other systems, go ahead. Do it. So, yeah, good on you, Valve, because that is the noble way to do this. Just let the developers do what they want. So, good on you, Valve. I uh, guess in other weird news, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto has uh, clarified that he is not working on the next Mario game, which is what he said for the last Mario game. And the one before that, and the one before that, he's working on the next Mario game. Uh, there's, there, no, no question about it. He's going to be working on it. Uh, Ubisoft has clarified that there will never be a modern Assassin's Creed game. So uh, you're never going to run around in the modern day uh, you, shooting guns or anything like that. No, 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 no. It's always going to be in the past somewhere, somehow. Yeah, exactly like that. So. Oh, yeah! Scotty just murdered himself. <laughs> you alright? Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Alright. Anyway, so, another thing Ubisoft declared is that even after 10 years, uh, they still consider Beyond Good and Evil a, a, an abysmal failure. Which, uh, come on, guys, that was a great game! Give it a break! Seriously. Seriously. And finally, to follow up on a news story from last week, Nintendo pretty much clarified one of the reasons why they took the swap note uh, feature out of the 3DS. And that is because pedophiles in Japan were using it to solicit children. See... This is why we can't have nice things. Seriously. Are you alright? You're bleeding a bit. You might totally works. Okay. Totally works. Bye. In the famous words of Archimedes, if you give me a long enough letter, let. In the famous words of Archimedes, if you give me a lever and a long enough place to stand, <laughs> In the words of Archimedes, if you give me a long enough lever and a solid place to stand, I will execute a hostage every two minutes until I get it. No, I didn't even say that right. Just scratch it. I give up.